Uh, the Programme for Government, uh, Lash Cancordia, commits to examining the role and collection of the TV licence fee in light of the existing and projected convergences of technologies and to transforming the TV licence into a household-based public broadcasting charge to be applied to all eligible households and applicable businesses, regardless of the device used to access content or services. In line with this commitment, my department is involved in the ongoing analysis and policy development work that is necessary in advance of the implementation of any changes that may be required. Whatever the system of funding, the rationale for providing funding will continue to apply and any changes that may be implemented must continue to provide a secure funding base for public service broadcasting and content. It is also important, of course, that any changes to the system of funding should take account of the reality of new mechanisms to access such content and services and the pervasiveness of such content in today's society. Public, publicly funded public service broadcasting and content are now available to everyone on an ever-increasing range of platforms and devices and in fact access is not dependent on the ownership of a device. In short, everyone benefits from the availability of these services regardless of how content is accessed or relayed to the public and therefore it is my view that the cost should be borne by society as a whole. The replacement of the existing funding system based on the collection of television license fees with one based on the uh, imposition of device independent charge on eligible households and businesses is a complex process and the logistics involved require thorough attention. Issues such as identifying the most appropriate collection method, exemptions and enforcement mechanics require detailed consideration and all have a bearing on the time frame for implementation. As I previously sorry, indicated to the House, my department is currently carrying out a value for money policy review conducted by an independently chaired group on the proposed policy. I expect to receive a copy of the group's recommendations and report uh, for my consideration at the end of March. Thank you very much. And thanks to the Minister for his response. I suppose just to, in relation to uh, uh, going forward and the new. Uh, I suppose household broadcasting fee that or whatever name that would be brought in it. What does he envisage? I would say at the moment the license fee is collected and it is paid uh, exclusively to the, the state broadcaster. And in light of the way that in uh, I'm just talking about in national terms now, uh, the local radio stations, the uh, community radio stations, all these have built up a huge network around the country and have taken a huge uh, listenership from the state broadcaster and have had to, to make it in the commercial world rather than anywhere else. Is there any uh, discussion within his department, or, uh, initiated by himself or others, within his department to, uh, you know, n not to have the entire funding going to one organisation and maybe some of it going to the independent broadcaster? Thank you, Deputy Minister. Well, uh, last Concordia, the answer is yes. Uh, I, I have been talking to the IBI, for example, uh, the independent broadcasters uh, of Ireland, uh, who have made uh, certain uh, proposals to me in this regard, and uh, whose stations do broadcast uh, public service content. Um, I, I'm prepared uh, and am examining their case. Um, there is a pretty fundamental review uh, underway and about to be concluded by the Broadcasting Authority of Ireland. And uh, I will be examining it in that regard. Um, I think it is important to acknowledge in the House that the stations to which Deputy Monaghan refers uh, do uh, provide uh, public service to their respective regions. Uh, they are, however, commercial enterprises and were commercial enterprises at the time that the licenses were much sought after. Um, and that has to be taken into account in the context of state aid rules and uh, so on. And I've had this discussion with the uh, with, with the independent broadcasters uh, and uh, in the context of the review that, to which I refer, uh, 
I will be examining it, but I would have to be convinced um, that uh, the case can be made without encountering uh, difficulties, for much. example, Deputy uh, at a European level. Brief, briefly, please. Yes, I think I, I suppose there is no question or doubt about it. But the, the community of, of the local radio stations and indeed uh, others are, are providing a huge public service. And I suppose if you measure it, I suppose on the one entity, just if I can be very brief, you know, they are a commercial entity. It has always been the case as well that RT were a commercial entity, even though they're getting a huge subsidy from the state. And I think that maybe that there should be an examination of, of where their funding is, is being spent as well as you come to dis discussions on it. But I think that for a huge raft of society, um, of all age groups and all demographics, they have become to rely on the local radio stations. And I think that when you, in your discussions that you should take recognition of this and take recognition of the huge importance that they play uh, in keeping communities together and in keeping communities, um, I, I suppose, a community f fabric together in light of everything else that's happening in society. And I think that there can be no question about it. But how realistic in relation to the state aids and the European Commission agreement? Is there a, a logjam there that can be negotiated around, or is there a difficulty there? Thank you, Deputy. Final reply, Minister, on this well, question. There is a difficulty uh, there, Deputy. There's no doubt about it. Whether it can be surmounted is something that we, we, we will examine. I mean, I, I don't uh, dispute what you say about the fact that um, about the value of the output from these regional stations and the fact that they do undoubtedly carry public service content. I would have to say to you, however, that this is not the sole area uh, in respect of which I get representations for a share of the license fee. Uh, there are others out there, uh, you know, from which you can draw the inference that spreading the butter so thinly uh, would certainly have an impact on the public service, uh, the national public service broadcaster, on whom there are statutory impositions in respect of discharging their public service function. And uh, that would have to be taken into account as well.